say, can you see, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Welcome, graduates, faculty, staff, parents, friends, and college supporters, both near and far, to Genesee Community College's 53rd commencement ceremony. Once again this year, as with last year's ceremony, this important event is being presented to you in a virtual format to ensure a safe ceremony for everybody. Before we begin today's program, please allow me to acknowledge and thank Tiago Marquis, who performed our national anthem to open our ceremony. I also wish to express my sincere appreciation to the college's board of trustees. In the best of times, a successful college has a lot of moving parts and depends on a team of people, and that has never been the case more than over the past 14 months. The GCC board of trustees has never wavered in its commitment to the college and our students. Their dedication and hard work maintains and focuses GCC's vision to always be innovative and to empower students to lead in this challenging world. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the current chair of our Board of Trustees, Maureen Marshall. Thank you, Dr. Sunser. I am honored to introduce the other Genesee Community College trustees whose names and photographs will be appearing on your screens. Jacqueline Whiting, Lori Miller, Philip DiMartino, Donna Ferry, Sarah Noble Moog, and Mary Alice Panic. Before turning the ceremony back over to Dr. Sunser, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to commend each and every one of you. You may have felt as though you've lost some opportunities this past year that are part of a traditional college experience. But in reality, you were able to experience opportunities unlike any other. And let these experiences mold you who you truly are and who you are meant to be. You are stronger, more determined, and ready for life's future challenges. I encourage you not to look back and reminisce what you may have missed. Rather, look back and be proud of yourself. Realize your value and apply what you've learned in your head and felt in your heart. Each of you are an inspiration. Be open to change and don't be afraid to try something new. You have more tools and resources than many generations did. So you are in a position to make the world a better place. You, the class of 2021, are really worth celebrating and we truly appreciate the commitment you made to GCC. I have no doubt you will all continue to make us proud. Also on behalf of the trustees, I wanna thank you to the members of the administration faculty and staff who have kept our college mission, vision, and strategic priorities at the forefront 
of their actions during these times to ensure our student-focused environment continued regardless of the delivery me method. Also, thank you to the families and friends who have supported our graduates. Best wishes, GCC Class of 2021. Thank you again, Chair Marshall, and thanks again to each trustee for their ongoing efforts, commitment, and unending enthusiasm. And I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the continuing support of Genesee County, the sponsor for Genesee Community College, and the 12 legislators who are equally dedicated to this great institution. Thank you, county legislators. And now we turn our attention to the class of 2021, who's earned a college degree during and through a global pandemic, a period of upheaval, uncertainty, social distancing, and challenges unlike any other. Your commitment, your hard work, and your perseverance goes beyond commendable. It is the foundation of leadership and making a difference for the betterment of our world. Winston Churchill once said, the price of greatness is responsibility. The class of 2021 has exhibited responsibility by taking on the challenges of learning remotely. By staying the course and submitting assignments in a manner or through a different process, and by helping their fellow classmates and maybe even their professors through thick and thin. John F. Kennedy said leadership and learning are indispensable to each other, and I believe you all can attest to that. Completing your studies during this outbreak of the coronavirus is an experience that you'll never forget, and one that may inspire you in ways that are yet untold. Today's graduating class includes students from every part of Genesee County, from Livingston, Orleans, and Wyoming counties that form our GLOW region. Genesee Community College also enjoys having students and now graduates from many other counties across New York State. We commend your hard work during this difficult time. We also welcome and recognize our many international students from Aruba, Brazil, Canada, Curaçao, France, Germany, India, Ireland, Jamaica, Japan, Norway, St. Martin, and Vietnam. Most of these students and now graduates were far from home as our world unraveled, and we recognize this was an added hardship. Today's graduating class also includes our third cohort of students in the successful science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM program. They began their pursuit of a college degree while in middle school. This is just one of the many options available through Genesee's highly regarded ACE, our accelerated college enrollment office. These students are actually graduating from GCC a few weeks ahead of earning their actual high school diploma. Special kudos to this group of high achievers. All of these students bring a cultural richness and diversity to the college community and inspire our daily interactions. We learn from each other, gain a broader understanding and an appreciation of our world. They will weave a warm and multifaceted fabric that underscores inclusive excellence that has become our way of life. Helping all these graduates achieve their goals is GCC's senior leadership team. I'd like to introduce them to you now. Dr. Kathleen Schieffen, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Mr. William M., Executive Vice President for Finance and Operations. Dr. Shalitha Williams, Vice President for Student and Enrollment Services. Mr. Justin Johnston, Vice President for Development and External Affairs. Graduates, many of you told me stories about people in your lives who have helped you along your life's journey, before, during, and no doubt, after your time here at Genesee Community College. I ask you to show your appreciation for your parents, family, friends, and others who might be with you today, wherever you are, or perhaps they might be watching from above or beyond your immediate sphere. Please take a moment and express your gratitude for their unending support, be it a hug, a high five, an elbow touch, or a hearty round of applause. Finally, there is another special group of strong supporters who helped you along the way. They've challenged you, they've supported you, and they've encouraged you to do your best. They are the faculty and the staff of GCC. 
They believed in you and were willing to give you their very best by sharing their knowledge and especially their time. I ask you to reach out to them during our post-commencement social media happy hour and thank them for everything they do every day that demonstrates and exemplifies how GCC goes beyond expectations. It's now my pleasure to introduce Mary Rose Ethington. As professor and director of the Science and Math Division, she brings you greetings on behalf of the faculty and staff of Genesee Community College. Professor Ethington. I'm honored to be here on behalf of the Faculty and Academic Senate of Genesee Community College to congratulate our 2021 graduates. We are proud of your success in the classroom, especially during these uncertain times. Today's ceremony may not be what you had hoped for, but that should not diminish its meaning or its importance. Be kind. Over the last 18 months, I've heard that phrase over and over again. We hear the newscasters every night with the nightly news, be kind to each other. The politicians urging us to treat each other kindly. Our college administrators encourage us. Be kind to each other, our students, and to yourselves. Be kind to each other. When I think about those few words, I remember Robert Fulgram's 1986 book, All I Ever Really Learned, I Learned in Kindergarten, where he presents his credo on the important lessons he has learned in life. Share everything, play fair, don't hit people, clean up your own messes, don't take things that aren't yours, and say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. His list goes on and on. Be kind. It didn't exactly make Fulgram's list, but it does resonate through his book. Being kind is demonstrating generosity, being considerate of others, and showing the concern without expecting praise or reward. Consider the time someone has shown you a bit of kindness. It may have been that unexpected compliment or a friend who surprised you with homemade cookies. It could have been something as simple as a person who smiled and said hello as they passed by. When someone is kind to you, it often improves your mood, as you're likely to pay it forward, which encourages other acts of kindness. These have been challenging times, and I hope that kindness was part of your experience at GCC. Maybe it was your math professor that spent endless hours on Zoom with you going through math problems. Maybe it was your healthcare professor that opened the lab every day to ensure that you received the hands-on clinical skills that you need to be successful in your field. Maybe it was your advisor that took the extra time with you so that you could graduate as scheduled. Maybe it was due to the accessibility of the call arena as a main vaccination clinic for our rural area. Maybe another student provided you with assistance in class or you helped them. Perhaps one of the greatest lessons of the pandemic is that people need each other. It is an important reminder for all of us to be kind to ourselves and one another. Class of 2021, we hope that you will do a bit of good wherever you go and be kind to those around you, your family, your friends, your colleagues, and yourselves. Do not forget us at Genesee. When you can visit, come back and see us or drop us a note. You are important to us, and we are glad you spent time here with us. We wish you the very best. Our next presentation is the Alpha Medal of Service. This prestigious award is the highest honor bestowed by Genesee Community College's foundation. It recognizes individuals who have demonstrated extraordinary volunteer service and generous philanthropic support. The 2021 Alpha Medal of Service recipient is Mr. Les Cole. Les has been a GCC Foundation supporter and volunteer for many years. He has served in numerous leadership capacities as a member of our Foundation Board of Directors, including six years as Board Treasurer. He's also served on numerous committees of the Foundation, including the Finance, Audit and Compliance, and Fund Development Committees. Always willing to step up to leadership fundraising roles when asked, Les was actively involved with many capital projects over the years that greatly enhanced the GCC campus and continues to directly impact the college and its constituents. These include the Conable Technology Building, Student Success Center, and the Richard C. Call Arena. Les also served as chair of Livingston County Leadership Division for our scholarship fundraising efforts. In addition to his professional duties as chairman of the board for Commodity Resources Corporation, Les gives generously of his time and talent, not only to the college, but to numerous area businesses 
and charitable organizations with service on boards in his community, including Noyes Memorial Hospital, Agricultural and Farmland Protection Board, New York Wine and Culinary Center, and various Livingston County organizations. Les Cole believes in and lives the highest ideals of community service and citizenship. On behalf of Genesee Community College and the Community College Foundation, I am proud to present the 2021 Alpha Medal of Service to Les Cole. Thank you. I'm deeply honored for this award and to have been part of the GCC community. I've had the pleasure of growing my family and a business in the GLOW region and have tried my best to give back to our community for my good fortune. I wish the best to all GCC graduates and hope your path will lead to happiness and success. Thank you again. Again, congratulations, Les, on this well-deserved honor. Now I'm pleased to introduce Trustee Noble Moog, who will present an honorary associate degree. Thank you, Dr. Sunser. This honor was set up to recognize those individuals who have made outstanding contributions to the life and the growth of the college, those who, that have made extraordinary business, professional, civic and scholarly accomplishments, and those who are notable leaders in academic disciplines taught at the college. James Vincent is the CEO of Elbrook Farms and recognized as one of our region's foremost civic leaders. He has been at the forefront of efforts to bring quality educational opportunities to our students and his guidance on community issues is sought by leaders of our county and of our state. Jim is known and respected for his leadership in the agricultural industry throughout the United States. More than 20 years ago, Jim saw the need for civic and community leaders to support Genesee Community College. He was one of the earliest proponents of the Genesee Community College Foundation, served as board member of the foundation from 1988 to 1997, and as president of the College Foundation between 1990 and 1992. Under Jim's leadership, the foundation began a scholarship program that today provides more than 500 awards each year to Genesee students. Jim was also instrumental in the effort to raise funds for the Conable Technology Building and the Humphrey Student Union. He is a 2010 Alpha Medal of Honor recipient from the Genesee Community College Foundation and has been recognized for his efforts by other regional and state awards. Jim is a humble person who is a role model for civic duty and passionate about our community. The Board of Trustees of Genesee Community College believes it is only fitting that James Vincent be recognized as an honorary member of the Genesee Community College Class of 2021 and be presented with the honorary associate degree from the college he cherishes and faithfully served for many years. Thank you, Sarah. I'm extremely honored and humbled to be part of this year's commencement. It is especially rewarding to stand with this class who have endured and persevered to complete their education and to the faculty and this institution that demonstrated the necessary resiliency in this time of uncertainty with a global pandemic. I have been fortunate to have been involved in businesses that have touched all the four counties of the GLOW region. The presence of GCC in agriculture, business, government, and community has been personally rewarding. Embodied by the legacy of the thousands of alumni that continually demonstrate the promise and opportunity that is the reality of the GLOW region. This reality is the expert 
expertise that has been developed, the repurposing of careers, or the start of further educational endeavors fostered here at GCC. There's a new reality developing, and that is the opportunities we are finding right here at home in Western New York. Our youth are figuring out this is not a bad place to live, to work, and become community. The economic impact and diversity of our alumni are and will be the drivers of this new reality. Again, thank you to the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Jim, and congratulations again. Now I am pleased to share a message from Chancellor of the State University of New York, Dr. Malatris. To the graduating class of 2021, today we celebrate over 90,000 graduating SUNY students. I know this is not how you expected your final semester to have gone. Since March of last year, as the world went into quarantine and we began a new normal of social distancing and masking up, you had to adapt to the uncertainties of what was to come to juggle new responsibilities, all while continuing on the path of completing your education. In the face of a global health crisis, you persevered. Whether it was making the transition to online learning, having to move back home to continue your studies, or not being able to be with your friends, teammates, and a favorite faculty and staff member. And despite it all, many of you stepped up to help out your campuses on the front lines with their COVID-19 efforts, from volunteering with testing, to administering vaccines, to providing academic support to those struggling with remote learning, you made sure that your communities were being taken care of. That is who SUNY is. That's who you are. You also created art, conducted research, and found your passions. You did it all, and I know it hasn't been easy. But today we celebrate your hard-earned and well-deserved degree. Although many of our campuses are unable to celebrate this important milestone with you, with all the pop and circumstance that you deserve, let it be known that we are all so proud of the class of 2021, the grit and determination you have shown to complete your studies, no matter the obstacles thrown in your way. You are to be admired, lauded, and always remembered. I'll cherish the opportunities I've had this year to meet so many of you, both in person and virtually, and to hear your inspiring stories. Like Madison Cunningham, who I met at my visit to Corning Community College, who is creating a toy for children with sensory processing disorders using 3D printing, and volunteers her time at the local hospital. Or Ilion Alexandre, a first-generation U Albany student and a recipient of the Norman R. McConney Jr. Award for Student Excellence, who hopes to continue on to medical school and work in emergency medicine. And Ramatu Muhammad, a SUNY Potsdam International Studies major and diversity ambassador who will be continuing her studies at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Or Jacob Eckhaus from Binghamton University, who through the Student Voices Action Committee helped create the Food Pantry Refrigeration Grant Program for all SUNY campuses. Or Kaylee Hosrath of SUNY Geneseo, who stepped up as a student volunteer using her training as an operations chief for Geneseo First Response EMT Service when all students had to be tested before leaving for Thanksgiving break. And Darian Hunt from Farmingdale State College, who recently received the inaugural Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence for being a champion of racial justice and equity on his campus. And Omar Guy, who grew up in Gambia and who is now completing his studies at Sullivan. As you all look toward the future, know that your SUNY education has prepared you to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, whether it be furthering your education or joining the workforce. You and your fellow graduates will continue the SUNY legacy of leaving a positive impact on your communities, always striving to solve for our world's most pressing problems and being stewards of excellence and innovation. As the newest members of the three million strong SUNY alumni family, I wish you luck as you start this exciting next chapter in your life and I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. I know you will do great things. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Malatris. It's now my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for today's ceremony, Dr. Susan Salvador. Dr. Salvador served as Vice President for Student Affairs at Monroe Community College in Rochester, New York, 
and North Hampton Community College in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. She was a search associate for William Spellman Executive Search and is currently a consultant, trainer, and speaker on student affairs practices and student learning. Dr. Salvador was a contributing author to Learning Reconsidered, a campus-wide focus on the student experience, as well as a member of the national writing team to produce the inventory statements for the principles of good practice for student affairs, publications that were sponsored by the American College Personnel Association and the National Association of Student Personnel Administrators. She has served as a consultant for community colleges establishing a housing and residence life program and author of articles on the impact and philosophical change of residence halls on two-year campuses and a lecturer in the Educational Foundations Department at Buffalo State College to teach community college administration. Dr. Salvador was president of ACPA and is a diamond honoree. She served as an ACPA Educational Leadership Foundation trustee, chair of commissions and member of the Senior Student Affairs Advisory and External Relations Advisory Boards, among other leadership roles. Dr. Salvador has received the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society's Distinguished Administrators Award, Certificate of Merit from the New York State Assembly for significant contributions to the student personnel profession, Outstanding Contribution to the Profession Award from the College Student Personnel Association of New York State, and Mildred Bullpit Woman of the Year Award from the American Association for Women in Community Colleges. She was an Athena Award nominee sponsored by the Women's Council of the Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce and inducted into MCC's Sports Hall of Fame. She has a doctorate in higher education administration from the University of Michigan, a Master in College Student Personnel Counseling from the Pennsylvania State University, and a Bachelor in Psychology from Siena College. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Susan Salvador. Congratulations, graduates, and greetings to President Sunser, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, family, and friends. It is a privilege to be part of this glorious celebration. Graduates, I imagine that when you enrolled at GCC, you never thought that you would be taking classes and graduating during a global pandemic. Your academic life became filled with virtual classes and virtual conversations with faculty and fellow students. You found yourself learning at your kitchen tables, outside for fresh air, at makeshift workstations, or quietly with earbuds while your baby napped. You did it by utilizing Zoom, group chats, breakout rooms, emails, and text messages. You may have even joined a student club and attended virtual programs to connect more. Let's take a moment to pause, to breathe out with a big smile and reflect on your unprecedented academic journey, the curves, the detours, bumps, and triumphs as well as your parents and others who encouraged and supported you. Please join me in a round of applause to celebrate your achievements. I have a passion for the mission of community colleges and the diversity of students who attend. When I worked at Monroe Community College, I loved that I never knew who was in the office reception area waiting to speak with me. The student could have been a mom, dad, grandmother, grandfather, as well as international, first generation, veteran, or immigrant. At one commencement, I even had the privilege of witnessing a 72-year-old woman earn her degree after enrolling 25 years prior, but who had to stop out at various times to battle cancer. I know students have enriched my life, and for that I'm grateful. I like to pass along three insights that have helped me. First, you are creating positive ripples. When I was in high school, I earned average grades. Test taking was not my strong suit, and I found that the questions were rarely asked in a way I studied and remembered the subject matter. Routinely, after a few questions and not being certain of the answers, my confidence would seep out of me 
and I would have more difficulty answering the rest of the test, and invariably, my grades suffered. As an adult, I learned from my sister that my high school guidance counselor had told my parents that he was not certain that I was college material and that they should consider having me attend BOCES. It was a gift that my parents did not share this with me. Rather, they wholeheartedly supported my plans to attend college. Their actions had a far-reaching ripple effect on me. When I started college, I wanted to be a psychologist so that I could help others. In my second semester, I befriended the resident director of the building I lived in, who enthusiastically talked with me about her career in student affairs and the opportunities to work with college students. These discussions piqued my interest, strengthened my motivation as a student, and indeed changed the trajectory of my entire career. It was at that time I found my calling, and that was to work with college students. She had a life-changing ripple effect on me. Well, how about yourself? Who's had a ripple effect on you? A faculty member? Student? Someone in your faith community? Or a family member? Well, trust me, your contributions sacrifices and successes to earn your degree have spread positive ripples and it may be with someone you're not even aware of as you further pursue your goals you will continue to do this you never know how far the impact of your actions will spread second you are capable of much more than you imagine when I was vice president at MCC, a young man named Salva Dutt enrolled as a student. You may be familiar with him. Salva is one of the lost boys of Sudan and the founder and president of Water for South Sudan. He shares in his story that when he was 11 years old and living in a rural village in South Sudan, the Sudanese civil war viciously reached where he and his family lived. Salva, and thousands of others fled on foot for safety in refugee camps. At one point, he was elected to lead 1,500 boys to walk thousands of miles covering three continents. And during this time, hundreds of the boys died before they walked back to Kenya. Salva said that he kept walking because we all have much to accomplish in our lives and that we must persist, especially during difficulty. After living in refugee camps for over 10 years, he was selected to be sent to America as a political refugee. He settled with a family in Rochester and enrolled at MCC as an international business major. While a student, he learned that his father was alive, so he returned to Sudan. There, he found his father very sick due to the filthy drinking water. The lack of clean water had a new emotional impact on him. After returning to MCC, Salva worked with members of the college community to establish the Water for South Sudan project and raised money to return to his village to drill the first well. Since then, he and his organization have drilled hundreds of wells for South Sudan. I know that Salva's story can seem larger than life and may be difficult to relate to. My guess is your futures will not involve building wells. However, you do need to be builders. Did you ever think, due to a pandemic, that you would have to quickly shift to a virtual learning environment and adjust how you communicated with others and used your resources, you built ways to be successful. That said, after graduation, where is your path taking you? What are you planning to build? I think it's much more than your grandest intentions because you are capable of much more than you imagine. 
Third, if you envision it, it will happen. I always enjoyed attending Phi Theta Kappa induction ceremonies. This is the honor society for two-year college students. At one ceremony, as I was lining up with other stage guests, we realized that the chapter president was not among us. There was a bit of time before the program started, so we didn't worry. However, when he was still missing after a few minutes, a chapter officer and an advisor went to look for him. The advisor found him standing in an empty classroom looking very nervous, and he told her that he had stage fright, and he knew he was going to mess up his lines and ruin the ceremony. He had been thinking about this for a long time. His advisor helped him shift from picturing himself stumbling over the words to rather speaking slowly and enunciating each one. He ended up doing a brilliant job. I have many examples how my actions have been impacted by the way I have mentally rehearsed an event or situation. Have you experienced this also? Well, it was an Olympic gold medalist who helped me clearly understand the importance of preparing mentally and emotionally. A number of years ago, Kathy Turner, who is a Rochester native and two-time Olympic gold medalist in short track speed skating, spoke to some students on her experience as an athlete. Kathy shared that when preparing for the Olympics, it was imperative for her to train physically mentally and emotionally. She was competing against the world's best female speed skaters and they were also driven to win. She worked with members of her training team who taught her to visualize herself making calculated, successful movements on the ice throughout the entire race and beating her competition. This took time and practice. But in her imagination, she had to see herself winning before she believed she could and would accomplish this. Graduates, I ask for you to take what you've learned at GCC, along with the life-related discoveries you've uncovered during the pandemic, and affirm your commitment to your next goals. And then, with time, Practice envisioning how you will be successful. These actions, coupled with the support of loved ones, are a powerful winning combination. And as you continue with your journey, I believe it's also important to be able to reflect on something that provides encouragement and wisdom. For me and my family, it's the poem Invictus, which in Latin means unconquered. It is written by William Ernest Henley. Many years ago, we put the poem at eye level on our refrigerator so that we could see it each time we opened the door. <laughs> when the poet was young, he contracted tuberculosis and lost the lower portion of one of his legs due to complications from the disease. Some years later, a doctor worked over a period of months to save his other leg. Inspired by his decision that he was not going to be defined nor controlled by this illness, Henley wrote Invictus while in the hospital. The last stanza of the poem reads, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Graduates, Look at yourself today. You are master of your goals. You are captain of your actions. You're unconquered. I hope you're full, a deep appreciation of your time at Genesee Community College and have a strong commitment to use your education to further your goals and to give back to your community. Remember, you are creating positive ripples. You are capable of much more than you imagine. And if you envision it, it will happen. Here's to hope and good health to all of you.
We will now move on to the central component of today's commencement ceremony, the presentation of graduates by Dr. Kathleen Schieffen, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs, will announce the names of our graduates. Thank you, President Sunser. I will now read the names of our graduates. Associate in Science Accounting, Shailen Mark. Associate in Applied Science Accounting, Brianna Myers. Matthew Shoemaker, Jonathan Slocum, Associate in Science, Business Administration, McKenna Boyer, Megan Conabare, Tyler Fuller, Laura Newman, Alicia Pritchard, Storm Retzer, Corinne Saliste, Adam Wixom, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Corey Bader, Trevor Bly, Nicole Brown, Tatiana Farrer, Caitlin Ferrone, Michelle Frazier, Kristen Glaskowski, Mallory Hume, Brandy Klatt, Isaac Ladley, Lori Marchner, Cassidy McGill, Carrie Piperak. Associate in Applied Science, Computer Information Systems. Justin Gentile. Zachary Glidden. Griffin Moose. Corvair Perry. Certificate, Computer Repair. Harley Gilbert. Associate in Applied Science, Computer Support and Operations. Ryan Weaver. Associate in Applied Science, Computer Systems and Network Technologies. Jacob Keeper. Courtney Petronic. Jack Shaders. Associate in Applied Science, Computerized Drafting and Design. Todd Armstrong, Shane Cockle, Associate in Science, Criminal Justice, Cody Baker, Jarellis Flores Medina, Rachel Gellible, Shonda Gomez, Riley Lufrenier. Ashley Sims, Shelby Townsend, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Rebecca Ellis, Caitlin Barnes, Jenna Goodrell, Aurora Hawkwater, Hayden Langless, Kimberly McDowell, Ashley Pagan, Bethany Ruffino, Associate in Science, Engineering Science, Jacob Ettinger, Andrew Kipfer, Associate in Applied Science, Entrepreneurship, Brennan Zaremba, Associate in Applied Science, Fashion Business, Marissa Conti, Samantha Dombrowski, Zier Evans, Sayaka Hisayama, C. Lin, Ariana Medic, 
Amina Musa. Alexis Remington. Kimberly Truesdale. Certificate Fashion Design. Kimberly Truesdale. Associate in Applied Science, Fitness and Recreation Management. John Gabalski. Corey Wheeler. Associate in Applied Science, Food Processing Technology. Amy Payne. Certificate Health Studies. Alyssa Landon. Cassandra Mooney. Associate in Science, Health Studies. Ariella Dick. Emily Glidden. Alyssa Landon. Taasia Smith. Tiffany Smith. Associate in Applied Science, Individualized Studies. Meilani Koaloa Keahoa Nelson. Associate in Science, Liberal Arts and Science, Natural Science. Liana Bauboat. Frank Riesna. Joshua Famer. Elias Orphanides, Jordan Speck. Associate in Science, Liberal Arts and Sciences, Sports Management. Gabrielle Burroughs. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Administrative Assistant. Shana Carter. Angelina Circone. Jennifer Cologne, Kimberly Eek, Aaron Hasso, Corey Cousy, Certificate Medical Office Assistant, Shauna Carter, Miriam Smith, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing, Miranda Allen. Kayla Avery, Kristen Barbara, Alexis Breton, Marjorie Brooks Frazier, Misty Brundage, Christopher Cooper, Melissa Curry, Jessica Dower, Diane Dolan, Marjorie Edelman, Elana Emerson, Hannah Fusani, Danelle Gibson, Chelsea Gazowski, Kelsey Hackmer, Amanda Hansen, Stephanie Hoy, Khadija Abrim. Carissa Kessler, Courtney Kimball, Nicole Kerbis, Christine Lazara, Michelle Mapes, Kristen Martin, Jessica Madovich, Sarah McCollum, Ashley McCormick, Jennifer Orr, Daniel Phillips, Christina Polatro, Cassandra Porter, Rebecca Reamer, Kristen Seva, Amy Schrader, Frances Sewell, Jennifer Smallcomb, Kirsten Stevens, Faith Thompson, Jessica Teague, Danilo White, Lauren Yesko, Associate in Applied Science, Paralegal Studies, 
Beth Balish, Julie Brokaw, Cindy Burnside, Rachel Cook, Alexis Malazzo, Michelle Wright, Associate in Applied Science, Physical Education Studies, Haley Elvord, Danielle Stanley, Abigail Willis, Associate in Applied Science, Physical Therapist Assistant, Alexander Almodovar, Therese Bischel, Associate in Applied Science, Polysomnographic Technology, Caitlin Lika, Olivia Hockwater, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Care, Betigas Dagnu, Shanice DiFiori, Tashkia Harris, Marcus Macon, Gatluck Mayen, Mary Michelli, Crystal Mistretta, Carly Phillips, Deja Saunders, Todd Schruger, Jr., Carrie Wigington, Associate in Applied Science, Tourism and Hospitality Management, Sharika Koch, Shannon Kobiak, Amy McLaughlin, Daja Sampson, Associate in Applied Science, Veterinary Technology, Kimberly N. Delora, Rachel Roser, Tracy Catalfamo, Victoria Gillard, Alexis Manchuk, Marianne McClurg, Michaela Obstarchik, Isla Shieldkraut, Brittany Rainwright, Marissa Weimer, Caitlin Yoder, Associate in Applied Science, Web Design, Ellie Baer. President Sunser, I present to you the Class of 2021. Now I am pleased to share a message from the United States Senator from New York, Charles Schumer. Hello, Genesee Community College. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all you, the class of 2021. Congratulations, you've made it. Now I'm really sorry I can't join you in person, as I do almost every year. But I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this graduation day. You are special, and I wouldn't want to miss congratulating you, COVID or not. First, a quick word to the parents. As a parent myself, I know how hard it is to raise kids these days and how much you've invested in them. But it all pays off as you watch your son or daughter receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Let's have a virtual round of applause to the moms and dads. Everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable. And for many of you, it probably has been, but certainly not in the way you expected. With COVID affecting our nation's health, our nation's economy and your senior year, these have been unusual and difficult times. The challenge of these moments are truly unique but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation and not letting COVID stand in the way, even if we're celebrating differently, just goes to show that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. And nothing, nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. So class of 2021, my message to you is simple. 
Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain. Many of you may not be sure what you're going to do next, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, of doing things a better way. It's natural to fear the unknown, and I'm sure many of you do right now. But don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. They're out there. You just have to keep your eyes open to them. And don't forget, you have incredible assets, a college degree from a great institution, and loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our nation is overcoming this pandemic, and we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. This past year has revealed the injustices and prejudices that persist in our society, and we can't just go back to the way things used to be. We must make our society better, and we know we will, because you are our future leaders and we have faith in you. So I say once again to Genesee Community College Class of 2021, congratulations, good luck, and Godspeed. Thank you, Senator Schumer. Now I'm pleased to share a message from New York State Lieutenant Governor Kathleen Hochul. Hi. I'm Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, and first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021 and to all the people, your family, your friends, your professors who helped you make it here today. Surely a year ago when the class of 2020 was denied their rite of passage with an in-person graduation, you thought by the time you graduate, the pandemic would be gone and life would be back to normal, right? Well, here we are. Yet despite enduring uncertainty and setbacks for more than a year of COVID, you still met the rigorous academic standards required to earn a diploma from a great New York State institution. But far more than the academics that every class before you and those that follow have to meet, your education, particularly since 2020, has been utterly unique. Each of you are now qualified to teach a master class in adaptability essential life skills, and resiliency. Not sure? Just hear me out. You are now entering into a world which has been radically altered. Forces beyond our control have changed our economy, our society, and indeed have changed each and every one of us. You are now bonded with others in the class of 2021 across the nation in a shared moment in history that will define a generation. And I guarantee that your 50th reunion You'll be talking about what you endured, the sacrifices you made, how you missed your classmates and your professors, how you had the additional hardship of finishing your education through enormous stress. But through it all, missing the final days with your friends and the celebration of graduation, you endured. And it is that endurance, resiliency, and a toughness coupled with compassion and a newfound appreciation for people in all walks of life from healthcare workers to grocery store cashiers to countless fellow citizens who selflessly rose to meet the occasion. All of this has built a foundation for your character that will serve you for as long as you live. You may not feel like it yet, but your experience surviving the global pandemic of 2020-2021 is a rock upon which you will measure all future challenges, setbacks, and whatever life throws your way. Just like the greatest generation who endured and survived the Great Depression and World War II, you and members of your class have the potential to be a generation that is held in esteem and awe for the grit and spirit of determination that got you to this graduation today. These traits will carry you forward into a world of uncertainty, yet one of unlimited possibility. Once you walk across the virtual stage, you'll be entering a whole new era one where we have far more questions than answers. But as a college-educated adult, you will now be called upon to help shape the answers to the burning questions of the day. Like how do we eradicate racial and social injustice? How do we foster more inclusivity for marginalized communities? How will we meet the challenge of climate change? How do we address the future of work and workplaces? How do we solve the healthcare inequities and better prepare for the next viruses that are sure to come? 
You are needed to help define our post-pandemic world and to answer these questions. Now, our country is turning to you, our next generation, for inspiration and hope as you build your own legacy and strive toward a more just, civil, and inclusive society. So more than just wearing a cap and tassel on your head, you also now wear the weight of these responsibilities on your shoulders. Class of 2021, as the curtain of social distancing and isolation begins to lift, more and more are vaccinated and we venture out from this period of darkness. Use your newly acquired education as the launch pad to lift off from and soar high. Use your passion and your most recent experiences to help shape our post-pandemic society into one that promotes generosity, love, and kindness. That's exactly what this world needs right now. And your fellow New Yorkers are counting on you to help lead the way. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Hochul. Now that you've been recognized, it is my honor at this time to confer the degrees and certificates for the academic program of study that you've completed at SUNY Genesee Community College. Graduates from across the globe, please rise wherever you may be. In accordance with the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the State of New York, by the State University of New York, and by action of the Board of Trustees of Genesee Community College, I hereby confer upon you the degree or certificate appropriate to your course of study. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels. Please join me in congratulating our Genesee Community College graduating class of 2021 at the 53rd commencement ceremony delivered in a virtual landscape across the world. Graduates, congratulations. Members of the class of 2021, on behalf of the Genesee Community College Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff, let me wish each of you the very best future filled with success of your own making. Today is the culmination of your GCC career, but it's not the end of your journey. Rather, it's just the beginning. You should know that less than 40% of adult Americans have earned a college degree, and I dare say very few can claim they earned a degree during a global pandemic. So as a member of a select group of college graduates, you'll be afforded opportunities that many others may not have. But with this opportunity comes responsibility. As Winston Churchill said, you've earned the right to do more, to give more, and to make a profound difference in your home, in your community, and our world. You've shown that you are ready to take on the role of an informed, engaged, and determined citizen. You're not just moving on to another institution or to a new job. You are our future leaders. You are the artists, the doctors, the nurses, the teachers, the aides, engineers and technicians, and computer programmers that we're all counting on. You are the hope of a new generation. All of us here today are counting on you to live a life full of promise and potential, not just for yourselves, but to make the world a better place for all. Thank you and accept my best wishes for your journey ahead. I'm now pleased to share some messages for you that come from our faculty and staff who also wish you nothing but the best for an exciting future. Woohoo, you did it! We are so proud of you. Remember this day, the sense of pride and accomplishment you take from it. What feels like the end is often the beginning. Know without doubt that you were made for great things. Always do your best. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. Believe in yourself. May your degree unlock many doors for you. Today is a milestone. Don't ever stop learning and achieving. Education is the key to unlocking your potential. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. It has been an honor to teach you. Today marks both an ending and a beginning. Many dream, some try, but only a few achieve. You have achieved. It's time to celebrate. This is so exciting. Congratulations. Go get them. Congratulations. Don't forget GCC. 
Keep in touch. To your well-deserved success, you are now a GCC alum. We will miss you. From the Alfred C. O'Connell Library. Congratulations! Best of luck, graduates. Graduates, as members of the Genesee Community College 53rd Commencement Class, I thank you all for joining us today, and I wish you all good times. Congratulations and please share your celebratory pictures, messages and videos, and all stories on our social media channels. We'll be collecting them and creating an online album in the next coming days.